Hi everyone, this is Andy. Right, this in this video, I'm just going to go over quickly how I'm going to play Solo Sabuto. As you know, so we know, I've joined a little online league, Solo Sabuto, with a number of players, and they pick a number of, and they pick teams, either fantasy or regular teams. And I, I picked Everton as mine because I support Everton, so I didn't go with a fantasy. I went with the team so anyway how am i going to play solo right the first and before i show anything any that any air show you anything um, i just want to go through the most i think the most important thing is in solo is honesty yeah you're playing with both teams you play your home games the opposite player plays your away games and you're playing with both sides and the most important thing I definitely think is or it's a waste of time completely is honesty and you've got to play with the away team just as good as you are with your team or it's just a waste of time it's just doesn't make sense if you even join them one so that's the most one of the most important keys in solo Subi show and playing in solo Subi show league is honesty I think so and the people that the people who know me know what I'm like. I, I play board games. I play a lot of war board games where I've got to play both, team, both sides. Let's say, for instance, Americans versus the Germans. I play the best of their ability for both sides. I don't, as long as it's a great game, I'm happy. <laughs> I've got my full enjoyment out of it. So people who know me know that I'm honest when it comes to gaming. I play a lot of games, so... That's that out of the way. Right. The basic rules on how I'm gonna play the solo Subi show is everything is gonna be the same. Everything is it, it, whatever applies to normal Subi show will apply in solo Subi show. <clears throat> Basically, let's say I'm on the attack. I've got some nice new balls today in the post. And some nice new metal goals. Really nice. Well anyway. Same on the attack. It's going to be hard with the uh, phone. And I touch the ball. I basically have, have to make a defensive flick. Okay, I'll do that again. It's hard with the phone. And I'm right handed, by the way. So I do a defensive flick and I flick him up here. Well, that was terrible, anyway. Right. Uh, that's how I'll be playing. So basically, whoever's attacking. I take control of the defended team as well. That's solo Subutio, and that's why I'll be playing it. I'll be playing it all by myself, obviously, and that's so people people who need to know I control both sides, obviously, because it's solo Subutio. Well, anyway, one of the biggest issues in solo Subutio is the goalkeeper. How can you can control a goalkeeper? I've seen a number of videos all over the place on on the internet. And the best solution I've seen, as you make sure you know, a regular Sabuto goalkeeper, you've got to hold the back of it here with the handle and take the shot. So I found that just impossible. And plus, you know where the shot's going. Anyway, so the best solution. People use different things, different methods on the internet. And the best method i seen, which I tried out last night in practicing, is the 5 centimeter cardboard goalkeeper with a weight in it of a two pence piece. Now, <laughs> people look at it and go, oh my God, this actually works really well. Uh, how am I gonna use it? Basically, easy. Let's say the shot, I'm allowed to have a shot. I, in solo Sabuto, in normal Sabuto, if you get a clear line of shots, you don't have to wait for the defender to make a move, you can just shoot straight away. But in solo, I won't be playing that way. I'll be playing the de defender, makes a, a defensive flick. Let's see there, he's got a clear line of shot now. He's just made a mess up of that. So what I do is now, I declare I'm gonna have a shot. And what you do is, you look on the back of the goal. And by the way, this cardboard goalkeeper with the weight, if you look, I've practiced with it last night. I've seen flex going over. I've seen saves going over the bar. I've seen saves going out over corners. I've seen him where he keeps it, possession of it. Really works really well with this weight inside it and all. And I'll be decorating it with a goalkeeper pitcher. 
Så man kan lade på så lukken. Well, this is the best way. So, the goal, this is how the goalkeeper works. I, you're not allowed to bring him out of the six yard box for a start. So you've got to control the six yard box. I've declared the shot. I would look behind the goal. Ooh, you have to excuse me, the camera. And I'd see which is the best angle for that shot. Now, personally, I'd put them about here. He's gone in the middle of the goal. I'd just bring him out off his line, just a touch. That looks like the best option, I'd say. Yeah. I'd say I'd go for that. It's got, basically, that's how it looks. From this angle. And, uh, as I said, I've seen great saves with this. and really works really well. And I'll go through, if he does save it in a minute, more what the options are. So he's got a clear line shot. Basically, he takes the shot and goes in. All of the time, last night in practice, and I've seen a lot of saves, so believe me, the goalkeeper does work. Right, how does it work on saves? Obviously, if he saves it and it goes over to corner, if he saves it and it stays in the six yard box, I'm playing it where he's saved the ball, he's touched the ball, they've got possession. I bring out the outfield keeper to pass the ball. That's how I'm going to play it. It stays in the six yard box after the keeper has touched the ball, they've got possession of the ball. Hib, he saves it and it comes back out and doesn't touch any player. I'm playing it where he's got control of the ball. The opposite side, of, he's touched it, they've got possession of the ball, they've got control. That's how I'm playing it. Now if he saves it and it touches an opposite player, where he can have a shot again. So it's basically, he's pushed it out, it says from opposite player. How I'm going to play it is, the defending team does not have a defensive flick, he doesn't have a chance to block the shot. The, the goalie cannot move, I can't pause play. So adjust the goalkeeper. Basically, if he saves it and it comes out and it hits an opposite player, the opposite player has got an opportunity to shoot straight away. No, no defensive, no defensive blocking. No goalkeeper adjusting the goalkeeper. If he saves it and it hits an opposite player, I can shoot straight away <coughs> without movements, without a defensive flick, without goal, goalkeeper movements. And that's how I'm going to play it. So that's the goalkeeper, basically, the goalkeeper's rules. I'll go through it again, to very quickly. When I declare the shot, I've got to pause. I've got to decide which is the best. Which is the best position for the goalkeeper to be. I can come out to the six-yard box. I can go anywhere and stay in there. I've got to think of the best position with the goalkeeper, which I'm going to pick here again. Then I go back to the outfield player. Obviously, he's made the move first before I adjust the goalkeeper. And then I take the shot. Let's see what happens this time. Oh, he saved it, but it went in the net, so it was too powerful. Let's pick him up. <laughs> so, yeah. <coughs> so, that's the shooting. So, a pause, adjust the goalkeeper to his best ability. <clears throat> and then take the shot. As I said, if he saves it, stays in the six yard box, they've got possession of the ball. It's a change of control. If he saves it, comes out and doesn't touch no one, the defensive team have got the, the, uh, the control of the ball. If he saves it and then it's an opposite player, how I'm going to play it is they don't do a defensive flick. The cope, I don't pause the game to, to decide because he saved it. He's, he can't move about. He's just done a quick reaction save, which come out, it's, it's an opposite player. So the opposite player can just shoot. And um, I have a score or whatever. So that's the goalkeepers, uh, basically. And that's the best way I've found on the uh, solo league football. Uh, solo Subito League, that's how I'm gonna play it. But as I said in the, at the beginning of the video, honesty is the most important. 
part of it all. I'm here to enjoy this game as the best I can. And uh, and I hope everyone else in the league does exactly the same. It's not worth <laughs> saying uh, pretending you win every game or playing better with your team. It's best to just play equal on both sides, enjoy the game, enjoy for what it is, and let's enjoy the future. So thanks for watching, guys. Now it's on for my first game. I've got to get cracking with this. So catch you guys later and later, keep it out with the results. See you later, boys. First game, Evan versus Hodoras. Ten minutes each year. Hodoras playing in the red. Everton obviously in the blue. Time for the coin toss for the kicker. Heads Everton will kick off. Tails Honduras. And it's Tails. Honduras get kick off. And Everton get through to ends. I'm going to keep them as they are. Honduras will kick off the game. Keep your eyes open for highlights.